Yep. Okay, that grabbed my attention every time I walk by here. Right. Yeah, how you doing? Oh, <laughs> good, good. Good, good. Did you uh, cut that uh, on your own? Yep. You did? We shot her up, yeah. You saw her up, you went in the woods and you used an axe? Uh, yeah, before, we have done that. <laughs> now they got the old, the old machine now. Which color? How old are you? 84. 84. And you do this every year? You and the wife, you just no, cut I it? I got no wife. You I got no wife. Been, you just, that's just my dad. Daughter. That's your dad. Wow, okay. Sorry, congratulations. That's all right. <laughs> that's all right. I get myself in trouble all the time. The, uh, so you turn around and you uh, do this every year. A lot of log trucks going by. Yes, I guess it is. Why? Uh, I don't know where to get the logs, but they get a that's in, what do you call it? Huh? Fraser Birchill? Fraser Birchill, yeah. Is there any wood left there? Not too much. It can't be too much now. It's pretty old cut. Who owns that? It'd be the government, eh? Crown Land? Yeah, Crown Land, yeah. And they're still going? Yeah, oh yeah. When you were younger, you, you worked there. Did oh, you yeah, go we, there? Yeah, oh yeah, we used to work in the camps, oh yeah. In the camps? Oh yeah. And how was that? Log camps. So how many people? You just show up there? What's no, no, these can be camped. There's about 20 people work there. Horses and saws and buck saws and axes and horses. You hold it with a horse. And you would stay there for how long? Oh, well, we used to go home on the weekends. They used to stay for all summer. As long as it took to get the, however much you want to cut. Like, they cut 100,000, maybe. 100,000? Uh, feet, okay. Okay. And then they come home. How did they take it out of the wood? They, Used to haul it with horses and then load the trucks to bull motor, you know, and take it with the bull motor. They had a couple of trucks on haul it. Just didn't take big loads in. And, and now one man cuts it, no. one man's loaded, it, and one man drives no. the truck. No, one man, you just do a slasher down. Just one that drives in the day, daytime, and one that at night. They cut a hundred cars in the daytime, a hundred at night. Slasher. Holler with a porter, and trucks holler. Why? Yeah, whenever they're done cutting their woods all out. Why? I want to get it done. You get in a hurry to get it done. Eh? Is it because the American wants their toilet paper because of Corona? <laughs> no, no, everybody wants to make a fast dollar, I guess. Yeah, but it's not like you said earlier. There is no mill open in, no. in, in Miramichi. No, just the one, just the the plywood mill, eh? And, yeah. The yeah. Chipboard, really What's it called? Our back? Our back? Or something like yeah, that? Yeah, over in Chatham Road there. So, it's not benefiting the people in the area at all? No. Is there any uh, mills in Ferdinand? No. no uh, there's one there. There's one. De Devon. Oh, yeah. There's one. There's one. But very, very, you don't hear no noise, no pollution, no, no. Oh, no. Very. So, what's going to happen? What's the future? For the woods. Pretty well done, I guess. I would say. There have to be something else stirred up. And then we spray. Yeah. Let's kill the herd with it. So Why? The, so the it gives us spruce a better chance to grow, they say. When you used to sit here, how, how long have you been here? How long have you been here? I've been here. I was here, here 20 years. 20 years? 20 years. When you were younger, I didn't pay attention. I have ADHD. I can't focus. Work. No. No. You, you know what? Uh, you must have been hearing a lot of birds. Oh yeah. Fifty years ago. A lot of moose. A lot of deer. A lot of wildlife. Yep. What's what's the most action you you see now? I don't hear any birds. Not too much. Yeah, we used to get a few birds and carpets like that. Yeah, they have by, uh, where's it called, Jamestown? Jamestown? Or the church. The church is by Hilltop. Uh, St. Right? James Church, the white church. Oh, Sivogo. Is that what it's called? And they have a pheasant crossing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Down at the Catholic Church? Yeah, they have a pheasant crossing. Oh, yeah? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't see that. Yeah. It was partridge. Is it pheasant or partridge? Yeah. It probably a so there's no future. 
Oh, now I don't. Only, the only future. Are you on Facebook? No. I guess the only future, right? So if you're on Facebook, you don't do this. So, uh, Corona is, is the less of our problem, right? No wood, no jobs, no birds, no deers. The end of the world. <laughs> Too bad we couldn't burn sodas. Some manure, horse manure. <laughs> Yeah. You got horses in the back? You give the, yeah, I got a horse, horse and a turkey over there. Do you? Yeah. And a turkey. Yeah, he there weighs he uh, 60 or 70 pound turkey. Oh, yeah, and there's a lot of turkeys it's that tame. started. This says tame. Tame. Oh, yeah. yeah he's right there. He's kept the shard, kept the shard. Yeah. Let yeah, me sure. look. They have a few wild turkeys now. Yeah. Oh, my God, look at that. How old is that? Two. Two years old? Wow. I home found them in the barn one day. Somebody didn't have the heart to do them in. So. <laughs> oh. He's really big. Oh, look at that. Wow. He's molting right now, so that's why he doesn't have the big spray of tail feathers. But he's, he's really quiet. So, uh, when is lunch? <laughs> Next Thanksgiving? <laughs> oh, look at that. Did you get it? Um, there's a fella he was raising. I bought some hay from a lab, mm. and uh, it was early in the spring, and he was raising baby turkeys. So I mentioned it to Dad when he delivered the hay, and Dad said, "I wonder if I could tame one of them." So I never thought another thing about it. Late in the fall, coming on about Thanksgiving, I went to go to the barn and seen the big white hook in the barn. So I went in and I said, "Dad, where'd you get the lad in the barn?" He said, "I don't know what you're talking about." I said, "There's a what you get in the barn." Nothing in the <laughs> so I said, come here. So I took him out and he said, where'd you get that lad? I said, I didn't get that lad. You got that lad. He's like, I didn't get him. So come to find out the lad that had delivered the hay early that year. I think his little girl was, he was a little more tame, this fella. And they didn't have the heart to do him in. Uh. So he put him in my barn. And he's been there ever since. So he's, <laughs> he's just very, very tame. And yeah. You can come around if you like. And he won't bother you at all. He won't bother me? Bottom. No, not at all. Here, you pet him and I'll hold your camera. Yeah, okay. Well, this is the first time I ever touch a wild mm -hmm. turkey. Oh, he's very tame. He's not wild. Wow. If you put your hand in his feathers, you'll feel how soft he is. Just like down. In so like 
Yeah. <laughs> it's a right well, well, well. Right in here. He's very warm and very soft. Well, he's well baby. Mm-hmm. Tell him to get that hell out of my oh, sight. He won't, no, no, he won't, he won't bother you at all. I gotta take a picture of this. Yeah. Wherever he goes. Yeah, wait a minute. 